There you go. That's it. So, got your heating set on 18. What you'll see is the little flame will come on across the top there, which lets you know the heating system's switched on, mm. but it will not kick in now until the van gets lower than 18 degrees. Oh, okay. So you like your thermostat at home, you literally set the temperature you want your heating to come on, right. uh, but it will not start. It will not start heating up until it gets below that temperature. Oh, okay. okay. So let me just show you. I'll crank it up to 30. There. So you now you see the little flame symbols flashing above the top. Mm -hmm. That means now that your heating system's heating up. Oh, okay. So you know if you you're ever in anything. Oh, it's a bit cold. But you look up here and you see that flashing. You know that the heating's already kicked in, and it's just it's heating yeah. itself up, ready okay. to go. I've got an alarm triangle. Not sure what that's for, but we'll have a look into that. It's good at least you've seen it. Ah, it's gone now. So let me just switch your heating back off. So click it's off. And as you see, the little flame will disappear then, so you know your heating's okay. off. So the next one across with the little uh, thermometer is for your hot water. Yeah. And it's as easy as, so that's hot water off, and then you can either have it on eco, hot, or boost. So eco, first of all, is um, 40 degrees for your hot water. Right. Hot is 60 degrees, and then also there's boost mode on your hot water. Now, what the boost mode is, it, it takes the power away from your set, your heating system and puts all its power into the hot water. Right. So if you're planning on using the shower or anything along them lines, if you click it onto boost mode then, it, you know then that when you're in the shower and the tank's reheating itself again, it, it's at optimum power to reheat the water right. system for okay. you. So, it's boost. I'll put it back onto eco. So, that's your heating, hot water. Next one across is your power select. So your heating system on your hot water will run on gas, electric, or gas and electric. Right. So to select the mode is simply up here. So it's either gas, mixed one, which is electric and gas, right. mixed two, which is again, gas and electric, but I'll explain the ones and twos in a sec. And then electric one and electric two. Right. So the only difference with them, the ones and the twos, is the amount of electricity that's going to it. So it's one kilowatts or two kilowatts. The easiest way of describing that. Remember Granny's old electric bar fire? So, so one is... I'll let me compress it really. <laughs> one is obviously the one bar and two is the two right. bars. Okay. So all that is, is, is for the amount of time it will take the heating system to heat up. Right. So if you imagine if it's deepest, darkest winter outside, and you're getting it, oh, it's really cold, you want to boost your heating to get it to heat up the quickest way, the quickest way is the mix two. Right. So that's obviously the gas and two kilowatts of electric. So that's right. the, the fastest way the system will heat up. What you'll find at this time of the year, you're absolutely fine on electric one. Should be enough power for, obviously you don't need your heating mm -hmm. that high. Or on the other hand, is just run it on the gas. Right. Okay. Now I know, um, Probably 99% of us caravanners always use the electric because it's the electric that's on site. Mm. Our main advice is just every now and then run the system on gas. And then you know if there's ever a power cut or anything on site and everyone's scratching around because they're trying to get all their gas system lit, you know you're quite confident that you can just click it onto gas and your system will light up and everything okay. will get going for you. Okay, making sense so far? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, obviously with the heating system, let me just pop it on. It's just, oh, oh, we've gone too far. It's obviously circulated by the air. So it's blown round, air blown. Same, it's probably similar to your old van. <coughs> so for the fan speed, it's just on the end here, it's the little fan symbol, and it's either eco or high. Right. So eco is obviously a lower speed, while high is at a faster speed. Yeah. Okay. Now there is, same as the hot water, there is a, a boost mode available on here. It won't let me select it now, because it's not a, enough of a temperature jump. Right. But again, if it's winter, it's really cold outside put your heating on to whatever temperature you want it on come along to the fan select put that on to boost and then the opposite to the water it takes the power away from the hot water system and concentrates all its power onto the heating system so it just boosts up the uh, the heating okay. system for you so that's the top line are you happy with the basics yeah yeah, yeah. so we'll go on to the, the other menus it's not majorly more complicated but it is a little bit so this one is a start stop timer you can literally tell it when you want it to come on, what temperature you want your heating to come on, <laughs> yeah, your hot water, what temperature you want your hot water to come on, what power you want to select, and when you want it to finish. Right, okay. So you literally just, all you do is you click on it, and then you just, it 
goes literally through the whole menu across the top there so you can program it to set it when to come on right okay and then the next one across is just your clock well i've already set your clock as long as it's 9 35 i shouldn't be far <laughs> off so that's all set for you and then the last one is the little spanner flash in there and this is your, your sort of menu so offset is the first one so the thermostat, the easiest way to describe them, the offset is if you've got your heating cranked up to 30 and you feel it's not quite hot enough for you, you can offset the thermostat up and down by a few degrees for your own personal preference. You may find that it's, it's warm enough on what level so you don't have to touch it, but it is there as an option. If you've got it cranked up to 30, it's not hot enough. You can offset it to uh, higher. I don't know if you've got something wrong with <laughs> So next one's temperature. So that's just changing it from <laughs> Celsius to Fahrenheit. Brightness, quite self-explanatory, it's just the brightness of the screen. Mm. Obviously, it's not too bad now, but you may find late at night when it's dark in here, yeah. it's a bit of a bright light, yeah. so you can obviously turn it down. 12 or 24 hour clock. Mm -hmm. Language, if you want to speak French <laughs> or German to it. Index, just brings up the code for the unit. So if you are having any problems, a technician may ask you for the index number. Uh -huh. So just simply click on index and it just brings you up the code there. Okay. And then, reset. So the same as anything electrical nowadays, so your laptop, your phone, your skybox, everything. If you are ever having major issues with it and you can't get it to play it, first thing to test is the reset. Just hit reset. All that does is shut the computer down and then just reboot it for you. And you'll find nine out of ten times it'll cure any faults that you're having any problems on it. And that's it. As you can see, we had a warning triangle come up before. So you know if you ever got any faults, a little black tri warning triangle you could come up there. What I think that was is the gas hadn't lit because I only just switched everything on this morning. So as you saw I did, if you just scroll onto it, click it nine out of ten times, it will clear it off anyway and you're yeah. set and you're ready to carry on then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Happy with everything up there? Yeah. Yeah. There is, obviously you've got, you'll have the video on YouTube to watch back as well. There is other videos for Truma. On, uh, on our YouTube page as well mm. and also you have got a manual as well so there is other bits but yeah. my main thing today as long as you're confident that you can switch your hot water on you you can have some heating yeah. I'm, I'm half confident <laughs> that you're, uh, you're not going to freeze to death when you're in your hands okay yeah yeah, yeah lovely yeah. so as daft as it is do you think your fridge is on now yeah uh, yeah right you're right and the only way you can tell is there's a little tiny green oh, LED yeah. in there. Yeah. So whereas last year's models come with a big bright blue screen on here, which dazzled you in the night time, they've clicked oh. onto that now and they've made it. So when you're in bed at night, you're not you're being not, shone yeah. at by a bright blue light. So that's, as I say, that's the only indicator that lets you know the fridge is on. But if you press the little grey button here, it'll wake up the menu. So you can see there's a little flame lit up at the minute mm -hmm. and then three of the bars here. So what's that's indicating is the fridge is running on gas at the minute mm -hmm. and then it's at set at temperature three. So to adjust that, you just hold the grey button down for a couple of seconds and you'll see it'll flash. So you can now change the power supply for it. So it's as easy as it runs on gas, vehicle battery and electric. Right. So to set it on electric is just press the grey button again and then you set the temperature then. Obviously five is the lowest or the highest temperature it will go. Yeah. And then obviously down, down to one as well. And then all you do is press the grey button again and that's it set. Okay. So as you see, it'll stay lit up for a few seconds and then it'll go blank. So they are, they've clicked on because it's not a bright light <laughs> at night. So again, I know because you're on a fixed side, you'll have it running on electric. Yeah. Again, our only advice is every now and then just yeah, fire it up nice. onto the gas. Yeah. And then all you do to light the gas is just come to it, select it, select your temperature, and that's it. So when your gas doesn't light, I will show you, pretend I haven't pressed this button and I'm just selecting it onto gas. I'll put it onto vehicle battery because there's no power supply for that. So when you select it on the gas and it doesn't light, this is what it'll do. Yeah. So it'll flash up on here, and then if you look, there's a tiny red flashing LED light yeah. on the on button. Oh, right, so to yeah. relight the gas, it's just as easy as switch the fridge off and then switch it back on again. And what that will do is self prime and self ignite it for you. Right, okay. um, you'll know it's lit because it will go to the same screen it was on. It'll go to that and then the screen will just blank out. Right, so you know okay. the gas system's lit for it. Right. Okay. okay, so obviously on the gas and electric is the fridge working at full optimum. On the vehicle battery, it only holds the temperature. 
So if you are ever wanting to travel with items in your fridge, which you're mm -hmm. fine to do, you need to make sure you've got it down to temperature first of all, right. and then change it over to yeah. the vehicle battery. So yeah. all you need to do is come in here, select vehicle battery, and then when you plug into the car, the power supply from the car will automatically come through and power your fridge for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So fridge, you just pull the lever down and it opens up. And there's obviously your fridge in the freezer. And if you can feel in there, I've only had it on, what, about half an hour? Yeah, it's pretty sad to... Yeah. So it's certainly well on the way already. Underneath the catch here is a lovely little lever which pulls out. That pops into this little bracket there. And what that is is holds your door open. So at winter time when you're leaving it, you can leave oh, the door right. pinned open. And then you know you're not going to come back to it because you've spilt the tiniest little bit of milk in that bottom yeah, tray yeah. there and you come back and it's suddenly grown into a big culture. Yeah, so okay. you can keep the door open for the for the winter time. And then that just pops back in under there right that way. Clever. Okay. Cut the drawer. And then storage, your draining board and your chopping board. All right. All right. Okay. In the bottom there, there is also the individual gas shut off appliances. There's a little diagram on the wall here which lets you know which is which. My main advice though, if you do smell gas, is just to switch them off at the bottles outside. Yeah. Yeah. They're more there for a technician if they ever wanted to remove your cooker or your fridge or anything oh, so right. they can okay. isolate the individual gas appliances. Right. So, your hob, obviously, you've got the three gas burners on the top, which are your first three here. It's just as easy as hold it down and sparker. Okay. Yeah. The sparker runs off your, your leisure battery, so as long as you've got power on your leisure battery, you always have a sparker and there's no need to be hunting around for a box of matches or a light. <laughs> okay. There you can see, all nicely lit. Obviously if you have been using the hob for a long period of time, these will get very hot. So just not as soon as you finish cooking, yeah. don't drop your glass yeah. down. Yeah. Because obviously you'll find you'll be shattering the glass. So obviously yeah. if you have been using it, just leave this up for as long as possible and let everything cool down. Okay. So underneath. I've just got your grill, so you've got your grill pan and your grill handle. This one's your grill, again, it's just turn and hold and, and it sparks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's your grill. And then I'll have these new ovens because my oven's never been that clean ever. <laughs> <laughs> and again, <It's> not. <laughs> hold and it ignites. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then obviously underneath your oven, you've got your pots and pans store as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, happy with yep. everything so far? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, perfect. So I'll talk about all the lights in here are individually switched on and off. Right. right. So okay. I've got everything switched on at the minute, obviously just to show yourselves. Yeah. But every light switch is on it. So the little silver ones is on and there. Right. The only one that's slightly hidden is this one here, which oh is right. the one above the top up there. Uh, do you know what, they move all the switches around, so I always have fun trying to find them all. So obviously another one up there, all the silver ones are on them. I'm trying to remember where the one is for the back. Uh, yes, it is. So this one's on the strip light just underneath, right. at the top up there. Okay. And then obviously going forward into the bedroom as well. They're all the same. They're oh, on the switches okay. above them. Yeah. And the silver ones, obviously, for your reading lights are on there as well. Okay. Right, so we might as well keep going this way. <laughs> so I love these because I love the his and hers wardrobes. <laughs> I know which is his and I know which is hers. <laughs> so inside this one, We've got your, your TV signal booster on the back wall there, and then this is obviously your, uh, your standalone table as well in there. Okay. Obviously, various storage, with obviously your drawers and everything. Um, behind me, there's another one here. There's obviously your 12 volt sockets, your 240, and an aerial socket as well now. So if you did want to watch TV in bed, you can have your TV in here, obviously plugged in with an aerial, okay. aerial thing as well. Lovely vanity cupboard in the corner. Is just press the button on the top, and it opens up there. Very switch. <laughs> it's a bit posh, this is. <laughs> I think it's lovely. I'm not. I'm serious when I'm saying these are my favourite bands. Favourite bands of the year. Obviously, we'd all love to be able to afford a Conqueror, but uh, I know what the bank manager will say. So your bed obviously lifts up. So this is obviously the same cupboard I showed you outside. This is just the, the, an easier access for it. So it is a good whopping storage mm. space as well yeah. for you. That's it. So, so that, is there storage underneath that? Yeah, yeah. so the storage underneath them as well. They obviously <coughs> lift up the same as, yeah. same as your man as well. And then obviously the bed just pushes back down and slides back in. Obviously the bed does slide out as well. And then obviously you pop that in there and then you've yeah. got your full length bed. Obviously we haven't pushed in on the handle because none of us will ever get past and then it just simply pushes back in. Okay. Yeah. So
So bathroom, so 